Hi everyone, in this video I'll be explaining to you about workflows in ERP Next. Now to understand the workflow, let's consider the example of HR module. In HR module we have leave application. So whenever an employee will create a leave application, the status of this leave application will always be draft and the employee won't be able to submit this, like see, I'll try it. You see I'm getting this message that only leave application with status approved and rejected can be submitted. So it's the responsibility of leave approver to either approve or reject the leave. So once it is done, once the status has been changed to rejected or to approved, I'll be able to submit this. So from this, what did we understand? So basically workflow, it in allows the levels of approval. All right. So we can have, uh, we can have multiple processes like once, let me go back there. All right. So once this leave will be approved by a leave approver, we'll be moving on to the next state. That is the doc type will go into the approved state or into the rejected state. So that's what the workflow is all about. Now we'll create a whole entire new workflow mm, just to understand it more better. Now let's have a look at this example. So I made this flow chart or a workflow you can say. So once the quotation request is made by a user, that is the quotation is created, suppose. So this qu the next stage will be that the quotation has to be approved by sales manager. So either it can be approved or either it can be rejected. If approved, the next stage will be it, uh, the quotation needs to be approved by maintenance manager. And then finally it can be, uh, we can say that it is it will be in the final stage of it that is approved. All right, so let's go into the workflow list and I'll create a new workflow. All right. So for quotation I'm creating, right? So let's say quotation approval. And for which doc type, you'll have to select a doc type. So quotation doc type. And is active, It uh, if this is checked, I mean, the the workflow will only be active if I check on this box unless it won't be active otherwise it won't be active and then we have don't override status that is if it is checked so uh, like we saw previously in for leave management there is already a workflow created so if I check on this then it won't override that previously created one but right now it is for quotation so we don't have to go much into this and send email alert so the email will be received for the next possible workflow action like um, before it was for leave approval so leave approval will be receiving, uh, receiving an email so likewise in this also whoever will be responsible for approving they will be receiving an email we will see it okay in some time all right so we have we completed this much so we have different states that can exist like a doc doc type can exist so let's say i'll create a first state will be draft we ha already have a draft all right and we have the doc status over here like we see all possible workflow states and the role of the workflow so if it is zero that means the doc type is saved if it is one then it will the doc type is submitted so we will assign one doc type status um, always to the last one to the last state okay so draft is zero doc status is zero and then allow edit only for let's add purchase user okay let's add another state that is approved by so which one did we have approved by sales manager okay so right now we don't have the approved by sales manager so we'll create a new workflow state let's name it as approved by sales manager and let's save it Okay, now let this doc status be zero only and we have, will allow edit for sales manager. Okay, next we have is, in this diagram we'll see, we have approved by sales manager, next is approved by maintenance manager. So we'll check if we have the state, if not then we'll create it. Okay, we don't have, so approved by maintenance, maintenance manager okay the spelling is wrong all right so allow edit for let's select maintenance manager 
and over here we'll uh, keep the doc status to one because this state at this state the doc will be document will be submitted so now this was about the states now next we have is a transition rule so we'll be creating some multiple transitions rule now first one will be the draft so action will be approve now once this draft is approved the next state it will go into will be this one okay approved by sales manager and who is allowed for this sales manager is allowed we'll add one more row and again we'll select the draft state because apart from approve action the, it can also be rejected the quotation can also be rejected so we'll add now after rejected after rejection this state of draft will be in the same state so we do not need to add another state so let's add a sales manager and we'll add So next one will be approved by sales manager and approve and then after this stage it will go to this one like this is the flow okay after draft it will go to approved by sales manager after this state it will go in go into approved by maintenance manager so let's go to approve by okay let me have a look approved by maintenance manager all right and we'll add maintenance manager mm -hmm. all right one more state for this same approved by sales manager again and what if it is rejected then it will be in the same state permission will be maintenance manager all right this was the whole workflow that we created now it is active now what I'll go is to the quotation list okay these are the two quotation that I created previously and I've tried now we'll create one more quotation again for the whole trial now let's select a customer I'll select this customer and we will add a price let's add iPhone 12 or iPhone 11 all right let's save it and see if we can all right so we see the status of this is draft now I'll we'll have to refresh it <coughs> Also before that just make sure that you are having all the permissions that is needed so since you added sales manager as well as the maintenance manager so make sure that you are so right now I'm not a sales manager so I'll make myself all right let's go back and let's go back and refresh So right now I'm operating as a sales manager for this quotation. So you see I have got this access and I will approve this. And now you see the state has changed to approve by sales manager. All right now, if you remember in workflow, we had this email. So I'll show you the email also. So this is how the email looks. Here we have the quotation and this subject is workflow action so you can either reject or approve from here so let's say I want to approve it so it will redirect to so from here also I can approve it since I'm a maintenance manager I'll have the sufficient permission okay and now you can see I'll refresh it and now it's approved by sales manager now it will change to maintenance manager let's have a look so yeah it is and now it it is submitted also that's why we are getting this create button so i hope you understand everything about the workflow 
and if you have any doubt do mention them we'll answer thank you